Hi. Now, in this question, we're told that the volume V cubic meters of liquid in a container is given by V equals all of 3H squared plus 4, all to the power 3 upon 2, and then minus 8, where H meters is the depth of the liquid. And in the first part of the question, we've got to find the value of dV by dH when H equals 0 0.6. Giving your answer, correct to two decimal places. So if you haven't done this already and would like to have a go, just give you a moment to pause the video, come back when ready, and you can compare your work solution to mine. Okay, let's see how you got on if you had a go. Well, for part one then, okay, we've got to find dV by dH. So that's just a question of differentiating V with respect to H. Now to differentiate V with respect to H, because of this term here, I'm going to need to use the chain rule to differentiate it. If you're unfamiliar with the chain rule, basically what I'm going to do is to find dV by dH is to say that this is equal to dV by some d something multiplied by the same d something over dH. And this d something can be, say, dt. It's up to you what letter you use, as long as you put it in here. It's as if these cancel out, just leaving you with dV over dH. Now, I've introduced t, so I'm going to say where t equals, and t is going to be 3h squared plus 4. So we've got 3h squared plus 4. And that means that, therefore, v will equal t to the power 3 over 2 minus 8. t to the power 3 over 2 minus 8. Let's just border that off, OK? So our calculation doesn't run into it. But there we go. There's the chain rule. That's what I'm going to be using. So when it comes to finding dV dH, I work out dV by dt first of all. Well, dV by dt will be 3 over 2 t to the power half. So we're going to have 3 over 2 t to the power half. T, though, is 3h squared plus 4. So I can just write that in there as 3h squared plus 4. And it is now to the power half. And then I've got to multiply this by dt by dh. And t is 3h squared plus 4. So if I differentiate this with respect to h, I get 6h. So multiply this by 6h. And I can clean this up. I can clean this up because I notice that the 2 goes into the 6 three times. And so I get 3 times 3h, which is going to be 9h. And that's multiplied by 3h squared plus 4 to the power 1 half. Now we've got to find out the value of dv dh when h equals 0 0.6. So if we just say in here that when h equals 0 0.6, then we've therefore got dv by dh equals, and substituting 0 0.6 in gives us 9 times 0 0.6 multiplied by 3 times 0 0.6 all squared plus 4, and that's all to the power a half or rooted. Okay, and if you work that out on your calculator, you should find you get 12.170 and so on. And we've got to give the answer to two decimal places. So to two decimal places, that's going to be 12.17. And we'll just write there, 2dp, two, two decimal places. All right. Now, in part two, we're told that liquid is leaking from the container and it is observed that when the depth of the liquid is 0.6 meters, the depth is decreasing at a rate of 0.015 meters per hour. And we've got to find the rate at which the volume of liquid in the container is decreasing at the instant when the depth is 0.6 meters.
So again, if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video. Okay, let's see how you got on. Well, in part two then, we've got to work out the rate at which the volume of liquid in the container is decreasing. So this is a rate of change. In other words, we've got to find dV by dt. Okay, a rate of change of volume with respect to time. And to do this, we use the chain rule again, or some people call it connected rates of change. We write dV down here, multiplied by something over dt. Okay, so we can see that whatever we put here is as if they cancel out leaving us with dv by dt. Now the only other variable that we've got in here is h, okay? So we're going to introduce dh here. So if we put dh there, we've got to put it there. Now we're told these values when h equals 0 0.6. So it's just a question of just substituting these values in. So when h equals 0 0.6, we've therefore got dv by dt, what we have to find, equals dv by dh. But we worked that out here. We worked it out that it was 12.17 to 2 dp. I'm just going to put the unrounded version in there just to show that I took the unrounded version. Okay, 12.170. And then to this we multiply it by dh by dt. Now for dh by dt, we're given that result, we're told that the depth is decreasing at a rate of 0.015 meters per hour. So that is the rate of change of h. So we'll put this in here. Now you've got to be very careful because being a rate of change, it's decreasing. So we can't really put 0.015 in, we've got to put the negative in, minus 0.015 there. So do take care over that. Now, if you work this out, what you get is minus 0.1825, okay, and so on. So this is telling us that it is decreasing because of the minus. It says find the rate at which the volume of liquid in the container is decreasing. So we just now need to just take the positive value of this because we know it's decreasing. So we can wind this up by saying that therefore it's decreasing okay, at a rate, let's just put rate down there, okay, a rate of, and that rate is 0.18 cubic meters per hour. All right, and that's given to two decimal places, two dp. So we strip off the minus there because we've used the word decreasing. So I hope that makes sense, okay? But we do need the minus on that one to show that it is decreasing. 